Hello, my name is Jay H. Lee. This is uh, Human Engineer video blog number two, Education. A person coming this world as a newborn baby is a totally dependent, yet has unlimited potential. Unlike other animals, human takes many years to grow up to be able to function as a person. Then this brings two questions. Number one is, what are those potentials are? And the other one is, why human takes many years to grow up? So let's talk about uh, a first question back. As Mr. Schumacher and Mr. Kojipski defines as that, life has a three class. It's mineral plus life is a chemical binding, which they are binding all those uh, photosynthesis and made of food chain, base of the food chain, it offers the food to the, all the lives. Then the other one is a life plus consciousness, which is a space binding, they can able to move around the space. However, human being, it's more than just a space binding, has a self-awareness, which is a time binding, which is a spiritual level. Now then, what about how many, why is there so many years? It's obvious the reason is, human consists of those functions a other doesn't have, such as a body and mind and spirit with the unlimited potential. It must take a time to develop each area through the education. That's right. That is why education is only human phenomenon. Now, Let's understand what it means education then. Let's dissect etymological meaning of educate. E means out. Deuce means lead. ATE, which is a suffix for causing. So with that dissect, we can define facilitate learning to bring out all the potential. That's right. Learning is a very complex. Learning process is very difficult. And in order to bring all those uh, potential easily out, someone has to be facilitate the learning can be a little easier to the older learners. So fact is all those potential human has only can actualize through the learning. Therefore, we ask another following question. What is the learning? And what are those potential that we have a each a level of the being? What is their functions are? What is their directions are? It is clear that each level of the being must have their own class of knowledge. So let's break it down. Four questions on the topic of learning. What is learning? It's the definition of it. Why learn? It's the purpose of it. Learning how to learn, this is a very important topic because without knowing how to do it, we cannot able to do the task very well. And it is a method we must know in order to do the, accomplish the task. Then, learn what? There's a many, many areas of life, many, many topics we need to learn that. Then, what are those uh, functions of each level of the being and what knowledge is it requires it? First layer is the knowledge is we can call science or chemistry, etc., etc. That's only study about matters. The next uh, a level of the knowledge is a life. It's a biology. However, biology it has a limited. Why? Because a life doesn't have size, doesn't have weight how biology can deal with that a something not even exist. It is a simply metaphysics. However, now, next layer of knowledge is it's consciousness. It's a psychology. However, final stage of knowledge, I rather use not the word of knowledge, rather wisdom of self-awareness. And not also that, I would like to use theosophy rather than a philosophy or theology. Because theo means God and sophy means wisdom. It is a wisdom of God, that knowledge 
make the human being. This, all these are level of the uh, answers for what we can potentially possess. This area of knowledge we need to know in order to be a human being. Now, what are the direction of each level of a being? We divide by the four class. The first one is inanimate. The other one is animate, which is a life. Life has three classes. It's a mineral and the chemical binding and space binding and time binding. Mineral, the a character and the feature is total passivity. They can do nothing about themselves. They take it as it comes. However, as the life goes up to all the way to the human being is a direction of total activity, such as plant, they are live, yet they are rooted on the ground, they cannot move, but yet they are chemically binding, so they can be a source of the food for all the lives. Then space binding, they can move. They can flee from the, a, someone's want to the, take their life. However, when it comes to the human, they have a total independency, total freedom. They have their own will. A situation of life which is indefinite and uncertain and open. There is a certainty only about the past and about the future. Only as far as that, it is a death. It is a quotation from Out of a Loving, a Eric Fromm's a, a writing. That's right. Human has total independency, total freedom. They have own will. And they have a nothing is a definite. It is so ambiguous, but we have to make it as we make it. So one of the areas that we need to learn is uh, free will. That is individual's entity. Human has body and mind and spirit, but what are the function of the mind? What is the function of the, our heart? What is the soul? It is a three different area. One's intellect, which is a reason. Emotion, which is a feeling. And make up the, our personality and the characters. And attitude. And the will is a free will. But again, the free will is a most important function because that's where each individual's entity sits in. Now, let's uh, find the answer for what is the learning, definition of it. Following result is from Googling, which is a conventional meaning of learning. It is gain or acquire knowledge or skills. Simply saying is, we gain the new information, gain the new knowledge, and that is what the conventional meaning of learning. However, learning has a such a deeper meaning and very, very complex meaning. So that's why I would like to define following five of those areas. Number one is, assigning the meaning is value laden. In other words, Meaning is already exist, but we searching for the meaning of each event or each uh, experience we having or whatever a meaning that we need to find to make our own life. The other one is is distinctively individual things, and human. And third one is the human resource development. And number four is a faculty to transformation of the being is a becoming. Number five is a lifelong process. I would like to a details about each area. Let's just start again. Assign the meaning based on each individual's uh, intention, which is a free will and the feeling, which is emotion, and the thought, which is intellect, they will assign their own value to any experience or knowledge they, they're gaining. Result of learning becomes individual's value system or belief system. This determines the, each person's lifestyle. First definition of learning is assign the meaning, the value laden. This brings the very important issues that what we are facing right now. And I have a quotation from a book school 
the study, uh, story of American public education. We cannot make the neutral administration because learning itself is intrinsically value-laden. The question is, it's not the weather politic, but whose politic, whose value, what kind of value we're going to teach. But our schooling system has an issue for that. Learning, which means a natural love of human life, has embedded in these important principles. Then, which law or constitution can prohibit freedom of learning and freedom of what value we should teach to the, ourselves and to the, our children? What about ethics? What about personal character development? Isn't it what education should do it? Isn't it what we need to learn to be, become human being? Why are we not doing that and why are we cannot doing that? Now, second item is a distinctively individual things. That's right, learning makes unique about every individual. All men create equal as the, the right they have. Yet everyone's characteristic is so unique. It is part of the principle of life, number one, total independency. Just like an identical twin. When they're born, that is very difficult to set apart. Yet, as life goes, what do they choose to eat, what they choose to learn, how they choose to live their life, later times of their life is totally different, and there are huge difference. And many study of a twin shows that. Now, this learning third item is, it's a human resource development. A what a function of the body and mind and spirit. Then now, number four, it's a faculty to transformation of the being. What they mean is this, once we learn, we are not the same person, we are totally different being. And it is shows at the time binding. And category of a time, we have a past, present, and the future. At the past, I was. Present, I am. Future, I become. Therefore, that is what the human is. We are time binding through the learning. We become totally different being. It's rather transformation or even transfiguration. And final item, lifelong process. This quotation again from the Art of the Loving, man of all age and culture is confronted with the solution of the one and the same question. The question of how to overcome separateness and how to achieve a union, how to transcend one's own individual life and find atonement. Eric Fromm at here is a played wordplay. It's a Atonement means a salvation, but he used as at one month. This is the two most human desired, love and salvation or atonement. Both are the same thing. How? Because we are a having fear is the most a important influence to us. Fear of death is number one. Fear of loneliness is another one. What is then death? Death is simply separation of a life and me. Separation of body and soul. And also fear of a, a aloneness. That is, a, it's isolate only by me. Now how fearful that is. So therefore, love is Union, achieve the union. And also transcendent is achieve the, a more life, overcome the death. And that is a two most important things the human want, yet those two are same. That's what the Eric from saying. Now then, let's know, know about a what is a, a, a etymological meaning of atonement. It's again, at, it is a proposition for the place. One is a unity, 
and month is a noun for the condition so it is a condition of union with the higher being it's a spirit that is a love that's atonement that's a salvation and that is always human want entire human history therefore communion has to be governing principle and function of spiritual realm it's life giving spirit so here is a quotation from the day out of the Shardang. You are not a human being in such of a spiritual experience. You are spiritual being immersed in a human experience. What a wonderful saying. Now, I covered what is learning, but I have to following covering is why learning, purpose of it, and how to learn and learn what. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video blog. And if you have any items or questions and requests, please contact me through the email. I look forward to bringing another video blog next week. Thank you.